Hey guys, welcome back to the Buzz Weaver channel, and it is a glorious day here on the Buzz Weaver channel, so make sure you click like, and of course, you are welcome to share this extraordinary news with whomever you like across your social media, your friends, your family, or whoever needs to hear this reality from The Guardian. U.S. Supreme Court appears skeptical of Colorado ruling, removing Trump from ballot. Colorado Supreme Court has ruled the ex-president, former, ineligible to run for office for inciting insurrection under the 14th Amendment, and they were utterly humiliated. Colorado, the leftists, and Trump detractors were utterly humiliated today. The U.S. Supreme Court appeared skeptical of a Colorado decision removing Donald Trump from the state's primary ballot during nearly two hours of oral arguments on Thursday. It seems poised to rule Trump is not constitutionally disqualified from running for president. That's all you need to know. They aren't going to win this. They are being humiliated. The entire purpose of this was to make Trump look as negative as possible, to get as many people as possible to hate Donald Trump. The case is perhaps the most high-stakes legal dispute to arrive at the court this century and thrust the court to the center of a politically charged election. A majority of justices, including some from the court's liberal wing, voiced concerns about the chaos that would ensue if they allowed states to decide whether to disqualify candidates from the ballot. So even now, granted, as we always said here on the Buzzweaver channel, the Supreme Court justices are supposed to make their decisions based on rule of law and the Constitution, not politics. But of course, everyone outside of the Supreme Court wants to make it about politics. What do you do with the what would seem to be the big plan consequences of your position? If Colorado's position is upheld, surely there'll be disqualification proceedings on the other side. And some of those will succeed, the Chief Justice John Roberts asked Jason Murray, the agonizingly ridiculous Trump detractor, Jason Murray, the lawyer who argued on behalf of the Colorado voters. So in other words, what he's saying is, if one state is allowed to disqualify someone, then other states will be allowed to disqualify another, and it will just keep going in a cycle. I would expect that a goodly number of states will stay, will say whoever the Democrat candidate is, you're off the ballot, and others, for the Republican candidate, you're off the ballot. It will come down to just a handful of states that are going to decide the presidential election. That's pretty daunting consequence, Robert said. Absolutely. It's absolutely despicable to think that this absurdity is going on. Now, I want you guys to hear this side of it because this explains, explains it directly. Now, we're going to go over here to NBC, and you can see how they kind of twist and turn these things around because they are very upset today. Believe me, the establishment and the left are absolutely in a rage today over this. Supreme Court signals unlikely, to, or, or yeah, yeah, signals unlikely to let Colorado kick Trump off the ballot. And you see the wording here, just, just ridiculous. Trump is appealing Colorado Supreme Court ruling that said he could be barred from the Republican Party ballot because of his effort to overturn 22 election. Uh, his now you see they didn't say insurrection. They didn't say insurrection here to overturn the election. It wasn't him trying to overturn anything. So ridiculous. We're gonna go down here. Um, Justices from across the ideological spectrum raised concerns about the states reaching different conclusions on whether a candidate could run, and several indicated that only Congress could enforce the provision at issue. Now, you see, they keep throwing this back and forth. Throughout the argument, the justices barely touched upon the meaty issue at the center of the case, whether Trump participated in an insurrection. The ruling is unlikely to hinge on that question because he wasn't involved in an insurrection because the Senate acquitted him. The Supreme Court, which has 6-3 conservative majority, is tackling several novel and consequential legal issues concerning Section 3 of the 14th Amendment and acted in the wake of the Civil War. Colorado voters filed a law. Now, you see how they say here, Colorado voters? It was six. It was six Colorado voters. Six Colorado voters filed a lawsuit saying Trump should be barred because of his effort to defy the 2020 election results and event that led to the January 6th attack on the Capitol. See, they didn't say insurrection again. You notice that, right? That's why I said that. They also didn't mention it was just six voters. It was six voters, not Colorado all. Th these people are just evil. Section 3 aimed at preventing former Confederates from returning, the power, returning to power in the U.S. government, saying anyone who had previously served as an officer of the United States and was then involved in the insurrection would be barred from holding federal office. They play these games. They play these mind games. They play these semantics. It's absolutely 
ridiculous. And then they go on to uh, what we just read here from The Guardian. They were embarrassed. They were humiliated. They had to rearrange their wording. They had to rearrange their phrasings. They still are trying to make Donald Trump look bad, despite the fact. Now, this ruling, of course, was uh, or this oral argument, they will make a decision on it, and it will go in the favor of Donald Trump. That's, that's just so, that, that's so perfectly clear right now that it'll go in his favor. So here we have uh, Julie Kelly. And Julie Kelly is a January 6th conspiracy theorist, insurrection denier, real clear. So she's just giving an outline here. It is clear SCOTUS decision will not even be close. It won't be because when you have what is perceived to be the leftist justices questioning these states, that should tell you everything you should want to know. And it will represent a total humiliation to many legal experts and historians who filed acumous briefs to defend Colorado's actions. It's absolutely absurd. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why I say this was a coordinated effort. As we've said many times, Molly Ball's article, The Shadow Campaign, it was a coordinated effort. These people are, this needs to be everywhere. That's why I say share it, make sure you like, make sure you engage with the content, feel free to leave a comment. This is the humiliation they brought upon themselves. So from Jonathan Turley, Jonathan Turley, uh, chair of public interest law, uh, legal analyst, and author of, uh, okay, so he's a writer, he's a lawyer. The argument is now over. The disqualification advocates may have expected a cold reception, but this was perfectly glacial. Notably, some of the toughest and most skeptical questions came from the left of the court. That's right, some of the left. Most notable were the questions from Justice Jackson, who seemed to push the idea that the president may not have been in, have been okay so may not have been intended to be one of those covered by the provision it's not we have talked about this for so long the president is not mentioned that's why i just read it to you from uh, the from uh, nbc news we have here leslie mcadoo lawyer and writer proud hillbilly overall take based on the oral argument highly likely donald trump wins going away uh wins going away okay at least 6-3, more likely 8-1, possibly 9-0. They may, they may not all agree on the same reasons for it, but basically they don't like what Colorado or didn't like what Colorado has done. That's absolutely true because, as we have talked about here many times, due process, right? There is a First off, there's a process for uh, going after a president that requires that the, um, you know, the Congress, the Senate, the House of Representatives come together and they have they you know drop articles of impeachment. He's impeached. It moves to the Department of Justice, and the and the Department of Justice investigates. Now that's just the general, overall perspective. You know, just the, the the get to the chase version of it. But it's absolutely astounding, and I think it will be, based upon the, the leftist judges and what they were saying today in the oral arguments. It's nine zero. It's nine zero. It, Donald Trump is going to be on the ballot. And it's just, or, or yeah, on the ballot in, in the case of Colorado, and it should be 9-0 if they ever decide to debate the issue over whether he was involved in insurrection as well. It's absolutely astounding. And here, and here's the crux. Here's what, here's what I'm going to be talking about for the Friday vlog. You ready for this? From the Hill, special counsel finds Biden willfully retained classified documents, no charges filed. Absolutely amazing, is it not, ladies and gentlemen? So when I say that our institutions have been hijacked or our culture has been hijacked and our institutions have been hijacked, this is what I mean. We go from a person who is being politically persecuted on purpose, and I would argue that these detractors, these legal experts, the Colorado Supreme Court, the secretaries of states, the attorney generals, whomever is going after Donald Trump knows what they're doing. They know they can't win. It isn't the point. The point is to paint Donald Trump as a one-dimensional villain. It's absolutely absurd, and this right here codifies it. Special counsel finds Biden willfully retained classified documents, no charges filed. Absolutely ridiculous. I want to thank all you guys across New Tech for your guys' continued support. Thank you so much. Below this video, you can find the various social media links that I belong to, as well as links to my Amazon. You guys can use that. It helps out the channel. And I want to thank all you guys, of course, for your continued support. All of you here on YouTube, that would be the channel icon appearing there on the screen for you guys to click on to subscribe, as well as to select notifications. That when you know when there's content here on the channel. And I'll see all you guys in the next video.